Welcome back to the 311 Griffin YouTube channel. We are back in the A29B Super Tucano, and today we're going to go over very quickly the air to air weaponry that's currently in this mod. And again, there is a Portuguese video that's probably better than this one, uh, and it does have English subtitles, so I will link it in the description as well as where to get the mod. I want to make sure that I'm I'm pointing people to the original creators as much as I can uh, because this is not my mod. I'm just having a ton of fun with it and uh, I want to help people as much as I can. So uh, we're dealing with the cannon and AIM-9 Sidewinders. Those to my knowledge are the only air-to-air -air weapons that this airplane carries but they can be somewhat potent so um, and, and they are. They, uh, they're fun to use. It's a little bit easier than the CIP stuff. Uh, so really the, the main things are the master arm, selector switch, the late arm, and the AG button on the upfront controller. Those are the main things that we are going to uh, be messing with, which is pretty much like if you were doing an air-to-ground run. Um, so we will put the MASS in live flip this up and of course once you're ready to execute your attack you'd turn that on uh, whoops I always hit AG we're gonna be in a a mode air to air and the aim 9 seeker comes on we're gonna pause that real quick um, this um, I don't I, I always think that this is the seeker head of the missiles but I, I think it's just your gun reticle uh, but the aim 9 seeker heads are pretty much pointing straight ahead and you just got to fly onto the target um, and then you'll get a tone change like we're used to seeing in other aircraft. Uh, I'm going to go down to the SMS page. Not that we necessarily need it. Oh, I'm not in active pause. I'm in full pause. Okay. So, and I double clicked that. There we go. Uh, you'll see that we have one AIM-9 over here boxed. And we have the gun boxed. We can shoot the gun and the missiles at the same time. So or without making any changes um, if to, to how we're set up, we can shoot both. So anyway, we've got this plane down here. We are going to dive on him. Uh, I've noticed in this, you do have to be fairly close to an aircraft to get the AIM-9 seeker head to give you good tone. But here we're close enough. I'm gonna gun this guy because I have a better chance of catching him than my other guy, I think. I'm going to try to gun him. The gun is a little bit weird because it is, um, sorry, I'll say it in a minute. <laughs> I got some guns, in, uh, bullets into him, but I don't think I did much damage. The gun is, the reticle is, uh, showing, it's kind of calculating based on your movement, not on target movement. So, um, so it doesn't necessarily know where you should aim. It's not going to necessarily tell you where you should aim. You you kind of have to get close and figure it out. And obviously from the 6 o'clock position, it's a little bit easier. So now we may have trouble catching him. Because <laughs> he's pretty fast. I was going too fast in my dive there. And you see here, uh, there we go. I'll go ahead and launch on him. Box two. And there we go. We got a good hit on him. Now, I don't know where the other one is. I can turn on labels real quick just to see if we can see him. And he may be long gone. Oh, wait, he's way over there. Now, I have I have him going slow, so we're going to speed up time here a little bit because it, it does take a while in this aircraft to catch up to enemy planes. Um, so you've got to be fairly patient. Okay, so we are within 10 miles. Um, we're going to pause it and look at the map because I want to, I want to make a, uh, an, an example, I guess, out of how close you have to be. 
he's turning I think he went the other way he might be flying at us actually so we're we're actually closer than I thought we were we're about two miles away um, normally I try to be within two miles when I shoot an aim nine in other aircraft so um, but this this isn't picking up even at two miles this isn't getting good tone of course it depends on the aircraft too it depends on what you're flying up against so he either turned around or we're flying at each other I don't know So one thing I like to do to catch up if I'm chasing somebody is I just always try to assume a lead pursuit um, and I will dive to pick up speed if I can. You can see we're going 0.54 Mach. Um, down here you can see our speed. We're going pretty fast. So we, we should catch him in no time. We'll try to gun him up too. <laughs> I'm not very good with the guns. Like I said, they, they're, they're hard to aim because you don't necessarily know um, whoops, let's look at that real quick. How close were we? No, oh, that's that guy. I always do that wrong. Okay, so just outside of one mile, maybe 1.2 miles. I'm going to go ahead and turn that back off because I hate labels unless I have to have them. Okay, we are in a 6 o'clock position, which makes it a little bit easier to gun, but I'm, st I'm going pretty fast. I still want to catch up. I don't want to lose too much speed, but I don't want to overshoot him, which I'm going to do. So, we got quite a bit of bullets into him. And our seeker head went back to normal. We'll turn around him and try to put a missile into him anyway. Box two. And there you go. He is really destroyed. Um, so you have somewhat limited weapons on the A29B, but it is a very capable um, air to air platform. Uh, in the roles that it was designed for and it could be pretty fun so I know this video is a little bit longer than it needed to be because we watched me floundering around trying to shoot airplanes um, I'll also remember this is a little off subject but you anytime you release weapons you'll have to trim again because your weight changes so I always kind of forget that and then fly off into space uh, <laughs> but anyway um, this was longer than it needed to be because most of that isn't even really that necessary but I did want to show the at least some rough employment of those weapons after talking about getting them working uh, but again it's it's really just the master arm selector switch the late arm switch and the AA button you don't really even need to have the SMS page up but I do like to have it so that I can just monitor how many bullets I have left and things like that um, but yeah, the A29B is pretty slick and it's very capable and I've been having a lot of fun with it. And so, again, I just wanted to show the air-to-air -air weapons. Um, I figure most people can probably figure that out fairly easily. Um, and then there, there is the, uh, the original video that I used to make sure I was doing it right um, that you can point to as well. Uh, so no problems, but uh, I hope it was helpful. And as always, thank you for watching and happy flying.